Hey guys, I just wanted to switch up the electric grounds. I want to tell you about a story about me being scared about cricket. Will you turn into Swoozy now? No. I just want my electric grounds being about SGWs, feminism, racism every single week because that could get boring and you can dry it out of hearing it. So here we go. My family has gone to work like usual. I got up from my bed. You know, I didn't want to because it was very comfy and I was very in a comfortable position, but you know, I had to get up anyways. I went to the kitchen to go get something to eat and something to drink. And in the front room, I hear a little tiny chirp. I'm like, what is that? And then out of the corner of my eye, I see a cricket by the TV. I'm like, oh no, I just immediately duck it into my room. So I'm acting like this cricket has sonar and is seeking me to find out because it's on a deadly assassin mission to take me out. I'm acting like it's that. But in reality, it's just chirping, chilling, and it's about that big. I'm acting like it's that big and like it's radioactive or something. So I went and hid in my mom's room the rest of the day. My mom comes home from work. She's like, what are you doing in my room? I'm like, I'm hiding from the cricket. I'm scared of it. I'm afraid it's gonna get me and jump into the room. She's like, you're being silly. I go into the front room and the cricket is gone, just gone immediately in a flash. I'm like, I was scared of a cricket that could be gone in a few nanoseconds. I'm like, what happened to the cricket? Did it dissolve? Did it have teleportation? Did it teleport to its own planet? I'm like, what happened to it? I'm like, it just disappeared out of nowhere and I was scared for nothing and that it could disappear at any time. I could have gone to the front room, could have got something to eat, could have got something to drink. But now I stayed in my mom's room the whole day, being scared, thirsty, and hungry because I was scared of a tiny cricket because I was afraid it had super jumping ability and it might jump into my ear or jump into my hair or something. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. Let me know what you have been afraid of that's been exaggerated and you found out later you shouldn't have been scared of it at all. Have a great day, guys, and more too. Stay awesome.